Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Super Metroid Exercise in this is a very familiar looking room. It's a weird shutter thing back there, but that's actually there for a reason. Because without it in the up position you can't get through, so yeah. Kind of a dead giveaway there's something back there, but stuff like that is not a bad thing. And it says there's items in there, I'm not... There, I don't know why. But back here... This would be somewhat familiar, if you... Know what that last room connects to. If you know what that last room was and what it connects to in the original game, this will look familiar. There's another reserve tank back here, so... Well, another... Yeah, another... First one there. There's normally another PLM in this room somewhere. Because there was a reserve tank and a missile in it. So I decided I wanted to go look for stuff. And the beam goes through the wall here, but there doesn't appear to be a way I can get through. I think there's just something strange going on with the hit detection there. And there does not appear to be another item in here. So, maybe that's why the beam was going through the wall, because there was a PLM thing doing weird things. And it says there's item back here, but obviously in these two squares, but power bombs have showed absolutely nothing. But again, good bubble pellet. And speaking of good stuff with the sack, this video is where you're going to see the, what I think is by far the best area in this hack, and it really does look good. Now, a lot of this hack is just like a lot of, ugh, what in the world? I've seen rotten cabbages look better, but this area, we'll get to later, really looks good. So, so at this point, we've got only one major boss still, just Fantoon. And I'm still kind of unsure if that's sequence breaking or not. I don't think it is. I believe you are supposed to do Fantoon first. And Kraid would be the next one instead of the first. But I do believe you're supposed to get Fantoon first. That way you can go get your grapple beam and stuff. Although you don't really need it for Kraid, so maybe not. I guess it's kind of open. You could do either one first. Which is interesting. Not a lot of packs have that kind of leeway with what bosses you do when and where or whatever. And getting out of here is not this hard. You can just actually shoot these blocks. They're not bomb blocks. But yeah, that is pretty much the Norfair we can explore. There's really not much else we can do here. Pretty much the rest of it is lower Norfair, so. And we are not ready for that. I'll tell you that right now. And neither are your eyes because red criteria. Why do people use that? I don't know. See, like these tanks things in the tiles are interesting. But they don't look that good either. I don't know. I don't know. Just a lot of this hack looks really. bad and like a genius I'm like oh hey I'll jump up here again because I think this is the second time I tried this now and it worked out very bad but there's the item square up there which is why I was looking now that square you actually get to from the underwater room and now that I have high jump I'll be able to go up and grab it much easier because instead of the one pixel I believe it's now two it might even be like two and some sub pixels Something like that, but it's much easier to get up here, plus you start up higher. 
And there are ninja pirates, but they don't have armor. So you could just cr crouch to shoot him and morph to avoid all of his stuff. I do like how he flashes neon green. I actually think that's their palette, sort of. But he also did something else to make them... I... yeah, I... don't know. And this plant is the worst thing in history. Don't fall into it if you can avoid it. Because getting out of it is... not easy. You pretty much have to spike yourself to get out. And the spike normally pushes you back into the num num plant. But back here is Spacer. This is... Basically, replacement for plasma, because I have no idea where plasma is in this heck. I don't collect it. Now, I also don't collect a whole bunch of items in general. I mean, I ended with only six energy tanks. I know I found at least seven, but I didn't go back for one. But there's really not a whole lot. And this here... Now, I didn't actually do this earlier. But you can sequence break this gate. Which means you can get that item down there. That item is a power bomb. So when you first come here, you can glitch that gate. Not sequence break it, glitch it. Uh, you can sequence break a gate. Yeah. I are genius. But you can glitch that gate and get power bombs there. For some reason, I still like, eh, yeah, whatever. So if you really want power bombs early, or just want power bombs in general, that gate is a good place to start. And these guys are still annoying. Those guys, again, respawning. Those and atomics. Really annoying respawning enemies. And because I haven't checked this enough, I have to make sure it's still crumble block. I'm not sure how to get through to that door. There's probably a block over on the left there that's enemy breakable. But now we can get through this wall. Now that we have power bombs. And a severe lack of supers. And see, this actually looks pretty good with the dark thing on the dark FX effect on it's a pretty good looking room I like how it turns the, the purple glow background into blue so we can get back here and speed booster is just hanging out here <laughs> it's like what in the world. It's just like, oh yeah, I like it here. Oh, it's pretty scenic. This pedestal has electricity on it. All that other fun stuff. Really sold me on this place. Yeah, I, why it's there, I have no clue. It's just hanging out. Like, oh, hi. So getting out of here was a bit more difficult than it needed to be for me. I barely made the timer there. And you get sent up through here. That's back to the room I was just in. This base pirate is in the plant for some reason. And now we can go here, but there's that little fireball spitty guy up there. Which is where I end up going, and that is actually, if you're wondering where Crate is, he's back that way. Where that guy's garden. Blocking the entrance too. So as soon as you get supers, you can destroy that thing and go back there. And there is a pretty interesting thing back here. Another interesting change. Very 
Viridia in the North Version. Why is that? Right? Although I personally don't believe enemies should be stuck to their certain areas. Enemies could be anywhere. Although it does kind of make sense for like a Nova, for instance, to be in a fire area. It looks like it's on fire, so... I mean, that makes sense, but... Other enemies don't necessarily have to be stuck to certain areas. From a certain standpoint, it makes sense that, hey, this is kind of their habitat, this is where they live, but they've been on the planet for a while, they can spread around a little bit. And back here, this place, the Meridia place, is what looks by far the best in this hack, and it actually looks really really good I like how it is I mean, once we actually get more into Meridia you'll see even more but not quite going to get there yet but this Meridia place looks really good now this room not so much this is like a plain old Meridia and you can't see too much here not that you really want to and you can't really glitch that gate Tass might be able to do it, but I'm not so sure. Because there's not much room to build up a lot of speed. They could get the speed booster going, but they still wouldn't be going max speed, so... So I don't know for sure if you have to be going max speed, but I'm it's something like that or other. I don't know all the requirements for glitching the gate, to be right. Now this is the interesting room. Because, oh hey, noob tube, right? It's like, oh, no Meridia. That's weird. Because I decided, oh, I don't want to check that tube out. I want to go back here. I want to check this map out. It's like, oh, Brain Star. Meridia. Oh, okay. Okay, so. I get back in here. The power bomb does not break the tube. There is a super missile door cap thingy on the end, though. That breaks the tube. That is very interesting. And I believe this is the first hack that actually... that I've played that does that. You break the tube with something other than a power bomb. So that's pretty interesting. Now up through here is Meridia. don't really get too far into because I want to go and explore Brinstar. The Brinstar stuff first. And I don't have gravity suits, so I'm kind of expecting that now from Kraid. Because Kraid is actually back here. And then all this fun stuff. Now there is a secret back here, and I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to find it until after you beat Kraid, for a reason that I'll get to after we actually beat Kraid. But there's energy refill, there's a thing in the ground that I just happened to explode. It's like, oh, my energy's full. Hmm. Oh, there's an energy tank. Definitely take that. And I now only collect one more from here on out. But yeah, I don't think you're actually... I mean, you can get it before Craig, but... You'll see why I think you're not supposed to really get it until after Craig. Later, because I, I don't get to Craig in this video. We'll get to him in the next one. All I have to do is go up through this stuff, more very oddly placed, more tunnels and whatnot. And these guys are very in ineffective when they're just stuck in places with those ceilings where the little spitty rocks can't get you and all that. 
And of course there's a dead guy up here, and a save. Like, hmm, this must be Kraid, right? And there's an eye door, so it's like, oh, it's definitely Kraid. And it actually is. So I refill for a bit, then go save the save room, and that's actually where we just leave this video off. I just want to make sure I have some supers and whatnot. So, thanks for watching, and in the next video we'll deal with Kraid and explore a little more in Metroid Exercise, and get to see more of the actual good-looking area in this hack. So we will see you for that.